In this video, we're talking about all the presentation changes, updates, things like that for MLB 24. This includes updated crowds, a new minor league commentator, umpire cam, things like that. So in the comment section, I'm interested to see what do you think after watching this video about the updates to presentation for MLB 24. And I daily upload on the channel. June 1st will be seven years in a row, so feel free to subscribe if y'all enjoy the videos for daily uploads. Score bugs, broadcast styled on-field augmented reality stats, regional broadcast, and of course, the fan beloved fan cam and i'm very very happy to be joined by drew to dive into presentation my name is drew and i uh am a design manager here and also the product owner of presentation audio and commentary specifically the first presentation stuff they talked about was the minor league presentation yeah we kind of just wanted to separate um the feeling of playing in the minor leagues from the major leagues so we'll, a couple things we added a minor league broadcaster uh, ben gelman's it was just terrific for them in the win hits two of them for extra bases opposing pitchers will want to take note of how she performed in this one if she puts together games like this frequently she won't be at this level for long so that's exciting um, i think it'll really differentiate that mode but we also just wanted to make that whole experience feel like you're in the minor league so we have a new minor league presentation package as well you know we wanted to still give you all the information you need but kind of make it feel authentic to that experience those were the two big things and then you mentioned the female road to the show player can't be overstated uh, how much work went into creating all the lines from commentary that were needed to support that uh, so that was a ma major undertaking this year we have brand new commentators we can see specifically for the prospect game two new commentators for those the next specific stuff they talked about for presentation was the storylines both for the negro league season two but also the Derek jeter storyline let's hear about presentation for storylines and i'm will be 24. i mean really the the, the most fun part about uh, the storylines modes is just taking the stories that bob kendrick tells or Derek jeter tells and being able to put them in, in the field especially with the negro leagues like he's describing these things that we don't have footage of and we can kind of re recreate some of those moments and I think that's really fun for us to develop and I hope it's it's pretty cool for people to actually kind of put the what they're imagining in their head when Bob's telling these stories into uh, the scenes and the presentations that we we've created for um, a, a lot of moments this year. So there, there's a lot of unique presentations for both of those modes. And the gameplay they're showing right now just clearly has nothing to do with what they're talking about. I kind of wish the audio levels were mixed a little bit better. It's kind of hard to hear with the announcers and stuff in the background. But the next thing they talked about was new stuff for crowds. I think they're mentioning crowd animations as well as noises, specifically World Series crowds. I'm excited to hear what they have to say about the changes for the crowd and the crowd atmosphere. For MLB 24. And we have a lot of lively crowds that have been revamped this year. How many new crowd animations and commentary did you and the team capture? Uh, well, right close to a thousand animations, but we we created, <laughs> we created hundreds of new crowd states um, because what we really felt like we were lacking were especially like the anticipatory um, animations and, and feelings that you get when you're watching a, a tight baseball game, especially in the World Series or something like that, where you get like more of the nervous, excited, um, just added nuance. And they actually showed off some footage, it looks like, from the NLCS with that updated crowd atmosphere. Let's take a look. Let's take a listen. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game here in Game 4 of the National League Championship Series. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to bring oh, the swing and a miss, huge strikeout there. It's one of those things that's kind of, maybe you won't notice it at first, and then you look at the crowd and you can kind of see, oh, okay, they're, they're on the edges of their seats or they're all standing at the right moments. Um, and then on top of that, we also worked really hard with our major league announce team to match what the... Um, the crowd is feeling you know and have the same intensity in the same moments and it goes down to what the players are doing and hopefully their emotion after a base hit matches the excitement level of the game and the next bit of footage they showed i think is maybe a walk-off win scenario let's listen and look at the crowd in that footage line drive that's a base hit around third <laughs> winning run on second base found a way to make solid contact and the winning run comes across to score everyone going crazy exciting finish to this game today
And the next clip we're about to see looks like it might be a game saving play. The one thing I will say so far is I'm still not the biggest fan of these announcers, man. I don't know if it's just nostalgia missing Matty V, but I'm feeling like I'm not hearing enough excitement from the announcers we have currently. But let's take a look at this next clip. I think a game saving play. The Yankees looking to rally. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. And that is the ball game. Closer back to this final inning. Time run on base. Great running and diving. And then they showed a clip of just a game winning strikeout. We'll take a look at that. Another level for him right now at the plate. It's like everyone else is in slow motion. Twins and misses. Struck him. I hear even more work has been done to capture more team and stadium specific sounds. Yeah, I mean, our audio team kills it every year. And in my opinion, they're the best best there is. And um, if you put what they put out in our game and put it up next to a real Major League Baseball game, it sounds the same to me. So they've pushed that even farther and then taken it to the next level, really, by um, picking out stadium specific sounds that only play in, in specific stadiums and you hear those after a home run or a strikeout or a great diving catch. And here's another clip following this one. Best with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Tattooed and gone. So they were talking about stadium sounds, presentation, and they focused a little bit more on stadium specific stuff. With stadium specific sounds, Drew, we also have stadiums as a whole, and I'm sure as a Mariners fan, you are pumped with the addition of the Kingdom this year. But then of course, that's not all. The team worked really hard in adding stadium exteriors in the past year, but for MLB The Show 24, there's even more stadium exteriors coming in. Yeah, first of all, not to date myself, but I grew up to go go and do a lot of games in the Kingdom, so personally stoked about that. Um, yeah, we continue to expand the exteriors. Uh, it takes quite a bit of work to pump those out, but uh, we've got, uh, we're expanding those and we're going to keep uh, pushing out all the exteriors until we have all of them uh, in the game. We've also done a lot inside the stadiums too with jumbotrons, laser ribbons, um, continue to push that stadium atmosphere. So you should really notice a big change with the in-stadium entertainment as well. That's exciting. I know as a White Sox fan, Guaranteed Rate Field has had their stadium exterior added on top of Wrigley Field. If you want to go to the north side of the city, of course, many more cities joining this feat. So still talking about presentation stuff, they mentioned the change and improvement of signs. Signs that you see fans holding in the crowd. Let's see exactly what they have to say about the signs. Yeah, we were kind of just uh, decided to overhaul how that whole system works, uh, which is cool because now um, our artists have done a really great job of creating a system where we can uh, query any player in the game which includes created players or any major league player so we don't need to worry about players getting traded anymore it's like oh we can't use this sign any longer uh, so it's going to be really cool and just kind of personalize that experience for you know your favorite team or your created player and the next thing they talked about was the presentation themes for mlb 24 let's hear about those and our, our art team kills it every year um and this year uh, i mean i think i feel like i always say this but uh they've outdone themselves once again i i counted just now and i think we have eight eight presentation themes, which is the most we've ever had. Uh, we have the the show theme, which we've had now as kind of our national big games, all-star game, opening day, postseason, your DD. Um, and then the return of the regional theme, which has been a big hit, um, that kind of plays along with who you are in a season mode, your, your team's regional network. And we've leaned even farther into that with a home team branding and, and stuff. We also talked about it earlier, but a minor league theme to make that um, 
feel authentic to to the minor league experience. And then we have four era specific themes now to support our storyline modes um, and multiple for Derek Jeter because we he plays in the 90s and 2000s and technology changed. So we need to kind of change the theme halfway through. They didn't spend a lot of time on this, but we saw some footage already and then some brand new footage with the new drone cam as well as the umpire cam. Let's take a quick look at those. Uh, cameras, we got ump cam this year, we got show drone. This year, we got a bunch of new fun stuff for everybody. And that does it for the presentation changes updates for MLB The Show 24. Again, in the comment section, I'm interested to see what you think. I still think the announcers could use a lot of work when it comes to especially the big situations. But to me, the commentary, just at least from what we saw, it didn't really sound too different from what we've been hearing the last few years. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think about what they talked about in this presentation feature premiere. And I'm just interested to see what everything actually sounds like once I'm playing the game for myself and hearing it from myself.